workers on Willy were doing things. It's kind of good. For fixing the pond too. It's better work. We're fixing the pontoon. That's part of the pond thing. All right, so if you take a good look here, you can actually see the fuel coming out. I can really smell it. I'm just going to pump real easily up on the bulb. And sure enough, out it comes. So that's the problem. Cylinder number two is definitely flooded. Look at all that fuel coming out of there. Yikes. I'm not even pumping anymore. That is just. Something's wrong with the float there. Carburetor number two is out. Let's go take a look at what's clogging it up. <clears throat> All right, so here we are in the basement. A um, little bit warmer than it was outside. It's about 15 degrees outside and it's 55 in here, so a lot nicer. But here is carburetor number two, the problem carburetor. So I'm going to pop it open and see what the, the issue is. I think it's the float and the, the, um, the needle, but uh, we'll figure it out. All right, clean the carb, and uh, now the needle seems to be moving. I bent the pin a little bit. We'll see if that makes a difference. Why, well, that's the washer. What does? Let's go ahead and put it back on and see if it still leaks. All right, so having put the carburetor back in here, number two, you can see here it's back in place. I put the cowl back on. I sprayed all three of them with carb cleaner and take a look. We are no longer leaking fuel. So that's mission accomplished. That carb was just filthy and not working well. So, to winterize, we're just going to disconnect the gas and let this thing run out. Alright, so the engine has been tuned. It is on to the next. So, before we redo these lights, first thing we're going to do is take off all this furniture, um, and pull off the fencing, clean it up, and see if we can get that carpet replaced. So. Here's the before. All right, and welcome to the first part of taking the furniture off. I'm really excited. Um, this is something I've been looking forward to for well, a couple years now. So step one, take this guy off. And we'll take the other one off, then we'll work our way back. We're down to the final two pieces, Clark. The helm and the captain's chair. The captain's chair is really beat up. I'm going to have to reupholster that like the other seats, but look at this. That is not good. 
and that's one of the reasons that we're doing this is this guy is just way too wobbly so I'm gonna pull that out and disconnect everything and go from there but first we're gonna start with the captain's chair so let's put on our ear protection is finding they did some work on this that wasn't the best. A lot of electrical tape and a lot of just taped together things. So, yikes. Okay. All right. Well, very exciting. We got all the furniture off, including the helm, gas tank, everything. And now we can get to the business of taking the carpet off. So here we go. Let's get this carpet off so we can put some fresh stuff down. Just like that, the carpet's gone. All right, so I couldn't help it. Once I got this all taken down, you saw Clark and I ripped the carpet off and then we actually scraped a little bit and then blew it off so it's kind of nice and clean. Gonna let it dry out a little bit because there's a couple spots that were a little, little damp and then gonna pick up the glue and uh, indoor outdoor carpet and start putting that down. But before we do, I thought I would just check. There is some really honky-tonk stuff going on. I already pulled one wire out that just went to nowhere. We've got just random wires tapped into the positive right here, for example. We've got just, you name it. I mean, there's enough connectors that are just randomly connected that I'm a bit surprised that we didn't have more problems. Although, looking back, look at this one. You're just tapping into this positive which is fine except I think it was just I mean look at that cut it and then wrap the wire around call it good I guess um, we have a couple of things that I wasn't expecting we got fuses in here that are pretty sure go to nowhere It looks like it's still good. I'll check that inside. Um, but really, quite a bit of wonderful cleanup to do. So I'm going to really simplify this, get this down to just what we need, nice and simple. Uh, put in a distribution block and a couple of new switches. And I don't think I'm going to cut these wires down just because they've already got the adapter on it, but we'll see. We'll see. So it's quite windy today, but uh, still have a little bit of carpet that's residual on there with a little bit of uh, the glue. So I'm going to just quickly belt sand it, uh, 36 grit, and just take off most of it so we can lay down the new carpet. So I just took a piece of the marine plywood that was on the helm that we're getting rid of, made a circle out of it so it fits, and then I'm just going to go ahead and screw this in so that it doesn't uh, fall through, and then I'm just attaching that with some coated screws, and then uh, we'll go up top and we'll sand it flush. And it's flush, so no problem there. We'll go ahead and put the carpet right over the top. I'm using these clamps to tie in, tie in the front corners and I'll go stretch it out to the back corners and then uh, we'll see how it looks there. The scariest part of all is cutting this off because once you cut it, you can't go back. So now it's time for the adhesive, which is including marine grade carpet on boat decks. So it's 
This is our product. So, off we go. Exciting time, we've got the carpet back on and it went really well actually putting the glue down. Um, I showed you that, uh, putting the glue down and then applying one side of the carpet. I did the other side of course and then stapled around the outside, uh, pulling it tight and rolling it. Um, the camera died while I was filming so we lost that. But now comes the fun part of starting to get ready to put things back in place but uh, uh, got to build the, the helm, get the all the electronics hooked up, I think that's probably the next priority. And then it's time to uh, start putting in the fencing, put that all back together. Uh, so that's where we are now, and uh, it's an exciting time to so put stuff back together. So I want to take a second and show you kind of how ridiculous this is. Um, I'm not exactly sure why the wiring is this way. Uh, obviously, they wired it for an incredible amount more. I'm going to pull a lot of this out. It's just hanging out and wasting space, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull that out right now. Oh, this was one of my worst nightmares here. You can look at this one. I don't know what they did before, but they obviously tapped into this. Um, fortunately, it's the ground, but still, it's just terrible. So um, I'm going to be cutting that out, but I just hope that there's not more of that deeper down. Fingers crossed. 